Langchain is back again with its new library, introducing Langgraph. Last week, they introduced and launched this new library, which makes it easier for you to modify agent runtimes. In simple terms, Langgraph is a module built on top of Langchain to better enable the creation of agents as well as runtimes. It has the ability to coordinate multiple chains or actors, you can say, across multiple steps of computation in a cyclical manner. To break it down even further, Langgraph allows you to build programs where different components, actors, it can basically communicate and work together in a loop. This is especially useful for creating agent-like behaviors where you repeatedly ask a language model what actions you want it to actually take next. It's not for building straightforward step-to-step -step processes like a flowchart, but rather for a more dynamic and interactive scenario. It's a way for you to create these intricate agents so it's easier for you to deploy them in various different environments. Now, if you want a linear process, you can stick to Langchain expression language, but if you need more cycles and agent-like behaviors, Langgraph is the way to go. Now, I know this might be getting repetitive, but I really want to emphasize on our private Discord as it has been thriving a lot recently. There has been a lot of great things coming out of this as you can just see from this like image right here on the screen where we basically just had a new partnership where we are giving out paid subscription plans for data coup and this is an amazing effortless and accurate approach for data extraction now this is just an example of something that we do and work with there's multiple different paid subscriptions that are given out to our discord members for free you simply become a member and you get access to various different ai tools across the month and it's on different ranges of ai tools it's not necessarily just data execution tools but it's various different types of categories in the field of ai now we don't just end up giving out free subscriptions to AI tools. We also give out various other different things like collaboration opportunities where people can basically work as a team to build applications. We have various networks. We have news outlets. We have resources as well as daily AI inputs. So definitely recommend you check out the Patreon link in the description below as I really wanted to emphasize what you guys are missing out on if you guys are not a part of this. Now take a look at this notebook, which is showcasing how they created an agent executor from scratch using Langgraph. Now we can see that they set this up using previous libraries from Langgraph or Langchain, sorry. And they basically use different APIs that they need for this to be functional. In this case, they use OpenAI. And as we go further, they create this Langchain agent using Langchain uh, libraries. And once we go down further, we can see that they use this new library Langgraph to create the graph state it defined the nodes using that library and defined the graph and this was where they basically created an agent that can source the weather in a certain region this is an executable agent that will find you what type of weather it is in a certain region so in this case they gave this prompt to state that what is the weather in san francisco and it gives you this output down below that it's within this Fahrenheit range and it basically just goes to show that this was something that was created from scratch using a couple of libraries and it was able to create this agent executor fairly easily. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Great part is, is that Langgraph is backed by Langchain, obviously, and it just goes to show that they will continuously keep on improving it further as time goes. And we can see just today, they released different types of demo videos on what you can do with it. There's notebooks on each and every topic, which is something that we'll take a look at as we go further into the video. With Langgraph, you can create an agent executor. You can create a chat agent executor, a human in the loop. Uh, dynamically returning a tool output directly. You can respond in a specific format, managing agent steps, force calling a tool. And this all just goes to show that you can create more dynamic and interactive agents with Langgraph. So this is something that you should definitely stay tuned as we go and showcase the capability of it throughout today's video. So stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. 
Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Langgraph, which is Langchain's new library, and it's for building stateful multi actor applications with large language models. And we can see that it has a step by step process as to how you can start using it. And it's something that we'll take a look at as you go further into the video. Now, Langchain is providing two types of agent executors through Langgraph. And I just want to basically showcase what you can actually do with it before we even go into showcasing how you can get started with it we know that you have a chat agent executor and this is something that has function calling you also have an agent executor now this agent executor is a new library that they've basically developed within LangGraph, and it's something that processes a list of messages as inputs and outputs in a list of messages overall now this agent state is represented as a list of messages and it specifically uses open AI's function calling and it can recommend for newer chat based models for supporting different types of function calling. Now, there's various different examples as to what you can do with this. You can get started with the notebooks that they have and you can create various things like a human in loop where you can add human in the loop component within your agent executor. You can force call a tool first. You can respond in a specific format as well as dynamically returning the tool output directly. This demonstrates for more of a dynamic approach where you let the agent choose whether the return of the result is straight like directly to the user now you can also do various things with the agent executor using existing langchain agents this is where we saw that example before where we created that agent from scratch at the start of the video this is something that focuses on utilizing ex like existing langchain agents you can Definitely do the same things where you can work with human in the loop, where you add the human in the loop component. You can work on force calling a tool first, which showcases how you can call a specific tool first. You can manage the agent steps. And this is something that will showcase how you can explicitly manage intermediate steps through that agent task. These are some of the examples as to what you can do with these new agent libraries within LangGraph. And that's something that we'll take a look at as we go further into the video. You can see that the code for each process is already installed or not installed, but showcased and demonstrated. And you can simply just install the library and you can, you can just input the templates for the each section of the code. You can set up the model with Langchain. You can set up the tools that you're going to be using through other previous libraries associated with Langchain, and you can then copy the diff like the templates for the nodes as well as the graphs to then create your agent. And they have like all the notebooks for different types of agent executors as well as chat agent executors. So if you're interested in that, you can just go to the notebooks and then take a look at them. You can see that they already have it set up, and you can create these Langchain agents right from the notebook on github so if you're interested in this i'll leave a link to all of these in the description below. now we all know that langchain is an amazing library but langgraph is just something that fixes the missing tools for langchain langchain is good at making different types of custom processes but it's something that struggles with loops loops are quite handy when you're working with different language models repeatedly like in smart applications but langgraph is something that fixes this as it makes it so much easier to create these looping processes it's giving you more control over your language model and it helps it make the decisions in that loop it's especially more useful for situations where you want the loop to be handled in different types of uncertain situations or you want it to take more control over how it actually functions now take a look at this figure it's representing the concept known as state machine it's basically the context of LangGraph, but in simple terms it's something that is a guide for a computer program to follow a specific set of steps or states and this is where the transition for one state to another is determined by the condition now each box represents the state. We see a code state, we have an LM calling state, you have a chain, router, state machine, as well as an agent. They all represent these different layers and the errors between them indicate the possible translation. Now, this is where the circles are the boxes where the actions or the tasks are associated with a certain state. 
This is something that is showcasing how the program can move from one state to another based off the conditions or the decisions that are made from its execution. For LangGraph, this is something that showcases how users can design and understand the flow of the processes through these different states. It makes it so much easier when it's in a loop and when you're like working with different types of repetitive loops and decision making, it makes it more clear. And I truly believe that it will help a lot when it's working on different types of functioning loops to create various different types of agents. Now on their blog post, they emphasize a lot more on the functionalities in different areas, whether that's nodes, the state graph, the edges, as well as further components to line graph. So if you're interested in this, I truly recommend you take a look at the blog post so you get a better idea as to what it can actually do. But there's also real world demos that you can actually take a look at on their channel. So if you're interested in this, I'll leave a link to this playlist in the description below. So you get a better idea as to how you can get started. Each video has their own notebook for it. So this will be very helpful for a lot of us. So with that thought, guys, that concludes today's video on LangGraph. If you want me to do a more thorough analysis as to how you can create your own executable agent from scratch, I'm definitely interested in making a video like that. So you guys get a better idea as to how you can code and create your own executable agent using LangGraph. So with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll leave all these links in the description below. Make sure you check out the Patreon link in the description below so that you can access our private Discord. This is a group that has been doing really, really good and it's thriving. So I truly recommend you re check it out as there's a lot of amazing features associated with it. And if you guys haven't followed World of AI on Twitter, definitely do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And, last and that is basically it for today's video. Make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.